Good morning and aloha everybody Jonathan coming to you live Feeling alive in Bali vibes The land of giving your offering to your life and I just wanted to re-presence that this week uh, at the Ecstatic Awakening Retreat, um, we opened up the opening ceremony and I shared that Bali, the meaning of Bali means offering. And if you haven't seen uh, before, the, the Balinese actually bring these offerings to every street corner on uh, where their business is or where they live. They bring these little tiny baskets weaved of leaves uh, and they put seeds and food and money and all these little you know incense and things that inspire them to as an offering to the gods and that's what Bali means the offering and then the Ubud where I am right now means medicine and so sending you all some uh, good vibe medicine from Southeast Asia and um, just wanted to share a little bit of a reflection from this past week of uh, embarking on this journey of the ecstatic awakening retreat and also planting a, a seed of a, a t intention for this coming dream beyond retreat uh, starting this Friday and going for eight days at floating leaf resort and um, one thing that I just like really started to come into uh, this week that really resonated with me was to practice the art and the yoga of falling deeply in love with yourself and deeply believing in yourself. So often I, I, I find myself in my own life forgetting, forgetting how powerful I am and working with people and, and I've had multiple uh, strategy, sacred strategy sessions this week and, and been connecting with people and, and there's been this theme of, of people not fully stepping into that, that radical and deep authentic belief in themselves. And, and it's, it's sad but it's also inspiring because I mean just like looking at the word be leave, be live, right? Be alive in yourself. To be fully, what does it mean to be fully alive in yourself? And, and such uh, this week, one of the biggest practices that we practiced was just expressing how you're truly feeling right now in this moment. Like actually practicing the art of, of speaking and expressing what are the experiences, the somatic feeling experiences that you're having in your body and, and what is the emotional experience? What is that sensation that you're experiencing? And, and can you express it in a way that allows you to fully express yourself? Because let's face it, so often we are in these mindsets of, you know, just the, our past. We're, we're, we're living in a, a past reality, a past identity of who we think we are. And we forget who we are right now. We forget about who we are being. Right? And a lot of times, you know, when we're, when we're speaking in these practices of authentic relating, when we're connecting to each other and it's like, what's, you know, one of the questions is, what is alive for you right now? And I want to ask you guys who are watching, like, what is alive for you right now? What is alive for you right now? And just, just, just speak it. And that could be like right now in this moment, I'm uh, feeling inspired. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling wired from all the coffee I've been drinking. <laughs> um, right now in this moment, I'm, I'm just feeling like more than anything, just this, this message that wants to flow through me because there was this, this revelation that I had last night. I was connecting with my soul sister, Sydney Campos, who's actually going to be co-facilitating at this upcoming Dream Beyond Retreat. Aloha, Rochelle. Hi, mom and dad. Um, and we were connecting and, and, and she was telling me about one of these um, people that she was working with uh, and, and, and how they charged something like $11,000 a month, right? And, and I was like, what, what was it about her? you know, that, that, that gave her the capacity to charge that much. And you know what she said? She just believed in herself so much. She just believed in herself so much. So how can we begin to explore the, and, and exercise that muscle of believing in ourselves, to be alive, to, to be more alive in ourselves? How can we let go of the past stories that we keep reliving 
Relive versus be live, right? What are you being? What do you want to be in order to then plant the seed for that future destiny, right? And it's that whole shift that we make that I talk about a lot, which is being the victim to your history and the master of your destiny, all right? Because we can be tuning in and reliving the past story or we can be cultivating a new story. I could say, what's alive for me right now? I could say, oh, I'm feeling an emotion from an uncomfortable morning. I could say, I'm anticipating an epic afternoon right now of meetings and coaching sessions and, and collaborations and a workout. Like I'm, I'm just filled with life and I'm feeling my future drawing me closer to it. And I'm curious about what it might bring to me. And having that insatiable curiosity as to what might become if I allow that spirit of curiosity and potentiality to be born through me and no longer be stuck into the loop of the uncertainty, which so often we get caught into, right? So how can we fall more deeply in love with life? And I, and I, I truly feel that, that self-love is a yogic practice. Self-love is a yogic practice in a sense that we have to get out of our normal daily life of sitting on the computer and swiping down the screen and just watching what's happening in the world. We gotta put that away and we gotta come in and check into our body and our mind and say, how am I feeling? Listen to yourself and just remind yourself, remind, remind. Not relive, remind yourself how deeply you are in love with who you are being right now in this moment. How can you be love? How can you be love? Believe in love, right? It's not a thought, it's not like, oh yeah, I love myself, thinking, it's a, it's a feeling, it's a sensation. And, and in the practice of Tantra, the Tantra is like, uh, actually, when it dates way back, Tantra is actually just systems of ideologies and philosophies. That's all it is. But it's also a practice of full expression of the divine, the divine expressing itself through you right now, right? And it, it, it could be felt as an orgasmic experience. In fact, did you know that you were born from an orgasm? And I know my mom and dad are watching right now and, and I know I was, I was a sparkle in my father's eye. I was an egg in my mother's womb when she was born in my grandmother. And it dates all the way back before to her grandmother to my great, my great grandmother. And it was always that spark, right? That spark of potentiality that was, that was there, that potential. A hundred million sperm ejaculated in every orgasm. And the one that made it to the egg, you. <laughs> my mom says, the big bang. <laughs> mom, get out of here. Who invited you to this? Jeez. <laughs> I guess you invited me to this, so yeah, it's full circle there. But what, like, when did we lose touch with that orgasmic sensation of, of, of making love to life and fully expressing yourself in every moment? Oh, and the feeling of breathing and just taking a deep breath. Just try taking a deep breath. Ah. Oh. Suddenly I feel the breeze of that Balinese breeze moving through the leaves and the trees. Look at where I am right now, by the way, guys. That, that is an infinity pond overlooking a, an infinite jungle of magic surrounded by an unlimited abundance of a breakfast buffet behind me. <laughs> Oh, the delicious sensation of this experience of life. <laughs> to be able to eat from the fruit of the trees and experience the taste. To be able to digest and experience the sensation of the fullness 
of filling your belly and your body with nutrients, to believe in yourself, to be life, to get out of the old story, to stop replaying the old story, get into your body and start to see and experience that divine nature of who you are. And then, once you fall so deeply in love with that essence of who you truly are, that connection, when you fall as deeply in love with the universe, with the creator, with source, with spirit, with that which has no name and every name, when you fall so deeply in love with it as much as it loves you to have made love to your parents, through your parents to give life to you, when you fall so deeply in love with that and you accept that divine calling, that divine essence of your one sperm out of 100 billion, 100 million, I believe, 100 million sperm. From that. Sperm counts vary from about 20 million to 100 million sperm cells. Just in case you were wondering. But who's counting? I mean, geez. You were the one. You are the one. So we fall in love and then we start making love to our future. Right? Make love to your future. Let it be a tantric practice of possibility. Don't let it be something of scarcity. We're not trying to just like drop our, our seed here and run. We're not just here to perpetuate humanity by giving birth to new life. No, we are here to be the essence of that cosmic orgasm, to make love to your future, to penetrate life with consciousness and possibility. To, to listen to that, to, that, to that small voice that's saying, hey, do you know how much potential you have to put down the story and begin expressing and writing and designing and visualizing a, a, a juicy, beloved, deeply connected future possibility? And just breathe into it. Ah. Uh. And just like, let it be a cellular experience. Let it be a, a, a somatic, let it be a, a deep rooted gut feeling. A fuck yesness. Let the fuck yesness fuck your future. <laughs> My mom's like, oh, jeez. Make love to your future. See the potential for beauty in your future. Have visions and, and, and quantum entangle yourself with a vision of your future. Write about it, design about it, research about it. Create a new Pinterest board about your future. Start visualizing it every day and, and, and actually start to feel that feeling and breathe into it. Ah. Because right now in this moment is the moment of alchemy where you have all access to infinite possibilities. Like a book, you can see the future, but you have to be willing to let go of the suture that has tied you to a past reality. You have to be able to cut it at the, at the root. And the root is now. That deep breath that you take, when you come back to the breath and you accept your divine nature, the divine seed that was planted in you, when you come back to that and you breathe into the fact that right now in this moment, all the resources that you need to begin your journey are accessible to you right now. And that there's a possibility that if you were to let go of the old story, and make the decision that from this moment forward, a new story is emerging, then maybe, just maybe, you would remember that you are the playwright and you can literally spell it out, cast a spell, a rite of passage into your future. Tuning into the quantum field, the infinite potentials that exist and writing it down, begin designing about it, begin dreamlining about it. Begin talking about it. Share your ideas with your brothers and sisters, your family, ask their feedback about it. Reach out to a mentor about it. Make love to your future. And it all starts now. Your future is 
is a is like a holographic uh, your future starts right now and it's a holograph of what's happening right now like in a sense of like here you are in this body atoms vibrating at the speed of light and and it's almost like you're looking through a, a lens and there's like all these Instagram filters and you can be like epic future more epic future kind of lame future boring future and just see if you can tune in to putting in the lens right now of the most epic, most activated future. And, and, tr and, and align it, and then t go over to that little bar that says uh, saturation, and just go like this and grab it. And then turn the color all the way up. And then look around. And then use the power of your intuition to begin envisioning what the future is going to hold because you are the beholder of the past and the future as the past and future collapse right now in this moment at the speed of light giving rise to your conscious mind the curator of your life experience the orchestrator of this beautiful harmonic experience of co-creation so what is that song going to sound like? I hope that it is a beautiful one because you are beautiful. And the more that we fall in love with ourself, the more that we fall in love with life, and the more that we make love to our future, the more opportunities we will have for life to make love to us. So much love, you guys, from here in Bali, Indonesia. Sending you love and lots of fruit. Ooh, what do we have here? Some papaya. Some papaya. Mmm. Mmm. It pairs well with the pineapple. Mmm. 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 Ah. Talk about a biological upgrade. Mmm. And remember, never stop dreaming.